I always thought that Pokemon YouTubers were vile degenerates, but when I woke up this morning hearing about how one YouTuber named Chugga Conroy had been harassing another YouTuber named Lady Emily for feet pics and pictures of her wearing certain shoes and all this other weird stuff, I have to say, I'm right. Now this initially started earlier this morning when Lady Emily posted this tweet saying scrolling through Reddit and seeing dozens of comments calling the popular YouTuber who sexually harassed you for several months last year a wholesome being with only green flags. And when people say things like that, they just need to know who. So finally, Lady Emily just says, fuck it, just to get it off my chest, last year Chica Conroy kept trying to get me to initiate erotic foot fetish roleplay with him while he also had a girlfriend. This included sending shoes to my house under the guise of a gift, only to constantly ask for feet pics afterwards. Certified freak seven days a week. But let's go back from the start where Lady Emily talks about her first meeting with a feet fiend. So this all started when Lady Emily was streaming Pokemon Black to her fans and Conroy was just watching it, chilling, probably stroking his pecker, seeing all the various Pokemon that appeared on the screen because he's a freak. And after that, Lady Emily uploaded a selfie pic on her Twitter. Notice in the background there's a picture of her sneakers. Well, Conroy really took an interest in that. He saw those sneakers and he caught a whiff of interest. Nice sneakers. LOL, thank you. I need new ones to be honest. My everyday pair is starting to see some damage, LOL. <laughs> Seems sadly typical due to thin fabric. Yeah, the curse of liking shoes that aren't durable. Got them on sale though, so for $20, can't complain. Hope you've been doing well. Hey, thank you. I just finished editing a video that was nuts to make. So nothing too strange at first. They're just talking about shoes. Pretty normal conversation to have with someone. But check out this next message. So like, do you have a P.O. box? Not at the moment, no. Oh well, I was gonna see if I could partake in some birthday niceness. Now I go by a little piece of wise advice. If a Pokemon YouTuber offers to mail you something, there's a near certain chance he's gonna blow his loads in the box, so don't open it unless you want your house to smell. But the man wanted more than just to send gifts. He wanted a little something of his own. Ooh, honestly great call because I love black high tops, but haven't had any in years and years. Ha 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 ha. It's my personal favorite shoe. It's a great shoe, goes with everything. Do I get to see you in them? There's a three month gap between that message and the next one, so I have no idea what might have occurred between then and then. But all of this culminated in him kinda pitching that he really likes sneakers. He's vague in this next message, but he also says that his significant other is okay with him talking about other people about shoes. I mean, okay, just look at this. Yeah, being forward with you because I'd rather not keep anything from you and let you make the best decision for you. I am into that, but only with my significant other. I just also like talking about shoes with people because it's also an interest. I talked with my SO about this when we first started dating, and she told me I can talk about shoes with other people because it isn't sexual with my friends. It's just something I enjoy talking about with my friends too. I know that might be a lot to share, and I'm sorry if it is, but I feel it's best just to be open with people and consider what I'd like to know if I was in their position. So he pretty much admits that he's a shoe fetish or a foot fetish or whatever you want to call it, and he says he only does it with his girlfriend, but Lady Emily shows some very damning evidence that honestly I thought were hilarious. So this is just her talking about how the conversations would derail, that they would be having normal conversations, and then he would always find a way to squeeze in a little bit of foot talk here and there, and look at this next message. Well, if you have any questions, I'm here. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna miss your shoes. He was kind of nice being their caretaker again. Looks at them in my hands. As hard as it was at times, they stunk horribly. Oh yeah, sorry about that. It is what it is. Man, big and stinky, you got it all. I wish I had the clip where I laughed at this for the first time because when I was reading through it, it reminded me of those old meat candy videos with the rabbit and Bugs Bunny and all that. Except this is real. This is someone genuinely talking this way. It blows my mind that Lady Emily didn't just read this and just go, Yeah, you're a fucking retard. I'm done talking with you. There's definitely some pieces missing in the conversation that I wanted Emily to show, but I couldn't seem to get it. Some sort of weird sneaker roleplay that he was trying to initiate, but just take a look at this first picture. Good. Glad we understand each other. Walks up behind you and trips you with some fancy footwork. You thud to the ground, and I yank your sneakers off in an instant. Ha ha, loser. Chucks them at you. Hey, check out Conroy's girl. You better come go get your man because he's flirting with this YouTuber. I'm going to take a wild guess that Lady Emily, while she doesn't seem to like to tell people to fuck off, 
might have slightly gone with the role play he initiated for a moment because in the second screenshot three days later he's like would you like to pick up where we left off last night ha <laughs> ha it dropped off so suddenly I don't know if she reluctantly entertained his request or if this was just Conroy's way of interpreting it by having her not responding or saying no directly. I'm gonna go out on a limb to say that Lady Emily probably doesn't know how to tell someone, listen you vile Pokemon YouTuber retard, I don't want to engage in roleplay with you, why don't you hug your girl from behind before someone else does, loser? But Conroy just did not get the hint. I mean, look at how many messages this man sent. This is down bad behavior right here. Someone come get your man, holy shit, this man just does not stop. Take a hint, moron. I mean, Emily, my bud, my friend, you need to learn to tell people to fuck off or block them because people like him are too dumb to get the message. Anyways, that's all we have for now, that's all we know, and that probably is all that there is to it. How about you stop being stupid and subscribe?